talk about something that I feel needs to be addressed and something that maybe you don't hear a lot of people speak on if you are not in church or listening to sermons online, and that is temptation. We all struggle with temptation. The Bible even tells us as Jesus walked in the flesh on earth that he also dealt with temptation. Just because we deal with temptation does not give us the right to fall into you know, going through with the acts. And the Bible also tells us in James 1, 13 through 15, that temptation does not come from God. Um, temptation comes when we are drawn away with our own lust. And what that means is if you are tempted by something, but you are not committing the sinful act, then you've not sinned. And so what I want to help encourage you with is finding out how to create those boundaries and what to do to avoid falling into temptations. So let me kind of um, share some things that I struggle with or, you know, I battle when it comes to temptation. The first one is gluttony. And that might sound crazy to you because most of you know I um, do health and fitness coaching, but I have always had a problem with wanting more and overindulging in food. I think a lot of it stems from my past when I was a child. Um, my mom always had food in our house. That was not a problem. But I wanted the good food. And so anytime I'm around food that is free, I have a very real struggle with wanting to overindulge. Um, and it becomes like this addiction for me. <laughs> it sounds so crazy, right? But it's a real struggle for me. And so that's one thing that I struggle with greatly. And the other thing is anger. I um, know that the Bible tells us to be slow to anger. But I have a very short temper. I will say I've had a short temper in the past. It's something that I worked greatly on. Something I have prayed on. Um, and something I'm dealing with you know, at this time. So those are two very real temptations that I fall into all the time. And um, what I want to do is just kind of share some things with you that have helped me to work past them. And I'm not saying every time that I don't fall into to temptation because I do. Um, you know, I stumble and I fall just like everyone else. But here are a few things. Number one, obviously, is prayer. And I pray out loud um, in those moments, and it's not like I'm announcing to the whole world, but I will hear, like, my words will be heard um, if you were right next to me, and I will pray through those temptations. I will ask God to take them away from me, to keep me strong in the moment. Um, and another thing that I also do is use the Word. So you can memorize a Bible verse. Um, you can find something that really just speaks to your heart and make it a habit when you're in those moments of temptation to speak that word out loud. Um, you know, if you are self-doubting or if you struggle with an addiction, um, drugs or alcohol or pornography or whatever it may be, you can find a verse that speaks to you and say it out loud in those moments the deep dark moments and call on him to be with you um, another thing is understanding your personal weaknesses and not putting yourself in the position where you're going to fall into that for example um, you know for me personally I'll talk about my uh, I guess you could call it a food addiction I mean, it's pretty bad um, I, you know, coming back from Summit, I allowed that addiction to creep back in. And it's like, every time I go to a restaurant, I feel like a kid at Christmas. You guys are probably laughing at me, but it's a true struggle. I get so excited and just want to eat everything in front of me. Um, and so, you know, some boundaries that I've put in place for me now is like I'm doing the refresh right now. And it's helping me break those habits. I know personally, I have to have a structured meal plan I have to have a goal and so I try to set those up and it's something that I can hit and it's something that takes that anxiety of eating away from me um, so that's one thing James 1 14 says that we are drawn away from our own lust this indicates that each person has their own weak areas to deal with you have something you're dealing with I have something I'm dealing with and we need to understand our weaknesses so that we know how to combat and avoid it so let's say you um 
you have a problem with alcohol, don't go to a bar. Just don't do it. Don't even put yourself in that place. Cut your life, cut it out of your life fully until you feel in control. Um, flee temptation. If you are in an area where you feel tempted, leave. There is nothing wrong with that. Um, you can 100% do that. I do that uh, with my anger issues in conversations or a relationship. If there is, if I'm having a conversation with someone and they begin to become negative, I will tell them that I cannot speak anymore, um, that I'm going to have to take a moment. Um, I will call them back when they're feeling better, when I'm feeling better, and I re remove myself from that conversation. It's not that you're being rude. It's that you're being a powerful person and you're understanding your boundaries and you're removing yourself from a destructive situation. Create an accountability network. So find a friend, find a mentor, someone that you can turn to when you're going through those temptations. My husband um, in California taught a group called FMO. Um, it was for men only. And they were a group of men that kept each other accountable. And, um, you know, they talked about sexual purity inside your marriage and just different things that men deal with and really wanted to change in their lives. So find an accountability network. Um, don't be discouraged. That is one thing. If you fall into your temptation, you can't just say, oh, well, I might as well, might as well just go eat that whole cake or I might as well just indulge in a pornography marathon or whatever it is. Um, you have to stop and you have to take a step back and be like, okay, what do I need to do in this moment to get myself out of here? Um, you know, and you know what you're supposed to do. You have the power to control it. Um, and if you fall into temptation, just don't give up. You pick up and you keep going. It's just like with a fitness journey, just like if you're starting a new career or whatever, you don't just give up. You keep going. Um, confess and repent. And you know what? Um, I do this often, especially with my anger issues. If I lash out, if my words hit someone sharp, um, you know, I'll, I'll talk to God and I'll say, Lord, please help me, um, you know, and I will ask him to forgive me of that um, and ask him to give me the strength and the courage to press forward. So it's okay to admit when you are wrong or when something goes bad, um, but it's not okay to just say, okay, I'm just going to continue down this road because you have the power to change. You have the power to um, overcome any temptation that you have in your life. Write them out and write out the steps that you want to take to overcome that temptation. All right? Bye.